So I'm cutting off 90% of my friends. And if you watch this video until the end, you'll know if you need to do the same. So uh, I will explain now how I got to this point. Because I'm 16 years old and at this age I should probably be uh, the most social in my whole life or something. And it's a bit weird that I got into this situation that I wanted to cut off almost everyone and get left with like two or three friends. And now I'll explain how we got here. So yesterday I was talking with uh, my female friend and I told her that this year I wanted to be less social. And she was like, why? And I told her that uh, I feel bad in social situations. I don't have like social anxiety, but I feel bad. I almost like feel down when around other people and my ego gets hurt and my confidence gets lower and lower. And she was like, you shouldn't just try to escape reality. You just have low confidence. And I thought like, how is this even possible? I'm doing self-improvement like in the top 1% of all of the people who are on self-improvement. I have a great body, I have okay social skills, not too bad, and I meditate, I have great mental health. How is it possible for me to have low confidence? And is it even possible? And I told her that I have great confidence in some situations, but in others I don't. And she was like, is that even possible? And I told her like, when I talk with uh, some of my clients and when I uh, talk to the camera and when I'm alone with my thoughts, I feel confident and I feel great. I feel adequate. I feel really, really good. And I don't have any uh, problems with some insecurities or, or lack of confidence when I'm alone or with some of my clients or with some high value people. I feel really great and I feel really motivated and I want to spend more time with them. But uh, she only saw me uh, in situations when, when I'm around either girls or uh, my uh, male friends who are like average people. And in those situations, I have low confidence. And I wanted to think about that and see why is that? Why, why do I have low confidence in some situations when around some of my friends and around girls? What, what's the thing about that? And after thinking for some time, I wasn't able to really realize what was happening and I just went to read the book The Magic of Thinking Big on my Kindle. And there was a paragraph that said this. In every group, there are persons who, secretly aware of their own inadequacies, want to stand in your way and prevent you from making progress. Many ambitious fellows have been laughed at, even threatened, because they tried to be more efficient and produce more. Let's face it, some folks, being jealous, want to make you feel embarrassed because you want to move upward. And after reading this, I just put my Kindle down and stared at the wall for like a few minutes and thought deeply. Like, is it possible that in this society, in my city, in my school, in my every, everything, like, is it possible that for everything I have done in the past year, which was great, or at least to be praised a little bit or whatever, I didn't get praised almost a single time. I mean, honest, honestly praised. I did get praised sometimes for like, oh, that's nice or whatever. But I didn't get like real praise and you go, man, go, go do it, go smash it, go smash that fort out. I didn't get that. And I was thinking, is this possible? Because when I'm with my friends and I try to to praise myself or whatever, to boast a little bit about something great that I achieved. They were almost always belittling me and making fun of me. And especially for my goals. I have some big goals and for those big goals, if I mention them, they start belittling me and making fun of me. And like uh, months of doing that just made my confidence and ego crumble when I'm around those people and compared to that when I'm alone or when I'm with some high value people that feel great in their bodies when I'm with them or alone I just I have a positive talk for myself because I'm achieving some great things and I'm not doing almost any bad habits I'm trying to be as perfect as possible in terms of like making progress and wanting to be more like Adonis wanting to be closer to God and stuff like that and High value people and myself 
praise myself. See, good, that's, that's awesome. You are doing really great. Just continue like that. Uh, compared to uh, these low, low quality and mediocre people that are either belittling me or saying, okay, nice, I don't care, and stuff like that. So what happened is that my confidence and my ego had crumbled because of the environment. So the environment killed my ego and confidence, destroyed it. Like uh, when I'm around girls or male friends, I have zero confidence or ego. Like it's, it's killed. It doesn't exist. Because I was never, 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 ever praised, praised by them. And this is really sad. Sad at least. And I would never realize this if there wasn't uh, this situation. So uh, this female friend uh, goes to a, uh, it's like a private school for the most part. And she's going there with other high quality children. And I'm going to a school where mostly morons go honestly to be honest mostly stupid people go to the school i'm going to and here's the thing uh, when i met some of her friends from that uh, private school they were like oh my god this guy has such an amazing physique for 16 years old there is no way he's 16 like even some of you guys watching like i look older because of the beard and stuff but they were like, no way, he's only 16, no fucking way, he's doing some crazy stuff, like, he's working out so hard, he has such a good beard for 16 years old, uh, he's uh, being so productive, doing some businesses, uh, earning money, stuff like that, like, this is fucking incredible, uh, he's meditating 20, 20 minutes a day, he's reading, he's, he has read 20 books last year, it's incredible, like, they, they were like that, you, you see, compared to people in my school, who were making fun of me for meditating, for having any goals, uh, were making fun of my physique because uh, I do have uh, big pecs. Like, I do have big pecs. And like, uh, I have a little bit of gynecomastia. Uh, it's like having uh, puffy, nipple, uh, puffy nipples. And uh, they almost never praise my physique or something like, oh my God, you have such an amazing physique for your age and stuff like that. I mean, I have a good physique. But anyway, um, back to the point. So. They never praise me for anything. They just make, make fun of me for some of the things I do that are, like, amazing. And I just a few times I got accused of using steroids. Like, I will put a picture of my physique on the screen so you can see that the physique is amazing uh, for a 16-year-old. Because I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, too short. I'm, like, uh, 5 foot 11. And that physique for my uh, height, for my age is incredible, like, it's fucking incredible. And after I told you all of this, the saddest part is that not just like 15 year old and 16 year old depressed children are making fun of me. It's like, even people who are 30 or 40 years old are uh, either um, saying my goals are stupid, saying that my path, my, uh, my current trajectory is stupid, that most of the things I do, they just ignore it or whatever, they think it's easy or it doesn't matter, uh, they don't support me in my goals. They support me only if I have a goal that they like. And this is pretty sad. This is pretty sad. Like, guys, this is so sad that I just, I'm just using stoicism and some of the quotes from the books of Marcus Aurelius, Seneca and other guys. I'm just using stoicism to not be bitter or to not be angry or to not be sad because this is, guy, this is fucking sad. Like, I, I tried to do everything as best as possible. I like, I tried to be the ultimate man. I wanted to be the best father of my children. And I get almost no, almost no like real support. Like, okay, my parents say nice and all, oh, you are doing nice things and whatever. But I get almost no support for my goals in terms of like pushing me forward. Nobody's pushing me forward. I have been pushing myself forward for the last over one year in terms of self-improvement in general and for past four years in terms of working out. Nobody is pushing me forward. Even my physique right now, um, even my parents are like, uh, you, you need to work out less because you will be too big or something like that. Like, it's fucking, it's, I don't even have words for this. And mainly the point of making this video was to uh, be a wake up call for you guys because I really don't want anyone else to experience this. I really hope that this video was helpful and that you will take some great points from this video.
Yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you are in a similar situation or something like that, you can leave a comment below, we can discuss it, I can give you some advice if you need it. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. It's really an upstream battle and people are just bad for the most part. And like, we don't even need to gossip them or whatever, people are just awful, most of the people. Like, people who are successful, you want to be around them. Because mo for the most part, they aren't bitter. They want you to also be successful. Because they feel secure in themselves and they are happy when they see other people make progress. When I see someone uh, leaving me a comment like, thank you man, uh, I'm making progress right now, thanks a lot for this video. I'm really happy. And like when I see my coaching clients uh, start to get more success in something, I'm really happy. And like... Even I'm happy when I see one of my friends achieving something in working out or my uh, young brother doing something great. Like I'm really, I'm really a person that loves to see other progress. Now, even now I'm trying to help my two friends with SMA. I want to succeed together with them. I don't really want to just, oh, I want to be alone in this. I want to succeed alone. It's just the situation that we don't have many ambitious people who want to succeed also with others. It's really, it's really sad. Yeah, guys, see you in the next video.